What's up? I'm Eddie from Suicide Silence, and I'm hanging out with Rob on Punk Videos Rock. Coming into the band, now there's a new record about to be dropped right now. What is what has this, the last few years been for you, like the experience with the band and the guys and everything? I mean, uh, I would say my the beginning of my my friendship with the band and kind of like my relationship with the band is uh, 2006. Um, a little bit before that, but 2006 is when it first started. And, um, you know, we came from being a bunch of little kids that were starting playing music together, being uh, being in a, this hot van throughout the United States, just grueling ourselves over and over to being bands that were professional about what we did and we go out there, we tour and we do things right and you know we make sure that we you know play the best shows and we're, we're efficient as musicians and kind of get on top of our game. So it's like you know coming into that that's how we were all we all came up together and you know I became really good friends with everybody in Suicide Silence including Mitch and you know his passing hurt hit me very deeply yeah. um, and when the guys asked me to do the little takeover you know I I I obliged because I felt like I'd be doing on paying homage to my one of my best friends and mm-hmm. in the music industry and um, I, I felt like I was doing a good thing you know so uh, here we are today, and yeah. I'm, I'm here at Rockstar, and yeah, I definitely. couldn't be more excited. Definitely, and I mean, hitting the stage for the first time under the name, um, you know, what, what was that like? Were you worried about fans? Because I'm sure there was fans that both were against and, you know, with the idea of a new singer. Yeah. Um, you know, the most hate I've gotten on the internet is very minimal to the, the amount of love, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the fans are welcoming. A lot of the fans think it's a good idea, and... Um, uh, I'm I'm with them, you know what I mean. Yeah. I think I think everything we're doing is good, and I, I'm like I said, I'm very excited. Yeah. So I don't let it get me down. That's good. Now I was I was looking at some of the comments of, of the releases in the video, and I've seen various times, you know, some of the fans are like, dude, I, I feel like I'm still watching Mitch or I hear Mitch or like the performance is just incredible. I mean, what does that mean to you? Um, I see it as a big welcoming. Like I like I said before, you know, I I feel like when kids get into the music as if Mitch had never left or you know if they're just into it because I, they feel like I'm doing a good job I see it as a welcoming as I see it as them opening up their arms and giving me a big old hug man and it feels good that's cool and, and you know you're about to release a record like we mentioned um, July 15th um, tell me about the chemistry in the studio with these guys because I mean even though you guys have been friends forever I mean this is a different ball game now that you're yeah, writing music and recording and spending time. I mean, I was always a very, very in, in the writing process of any any band that I've done. Um, just just because for me it's important, you know what I mean. Mm. If I'm not contributing to the music, then I'm detached from it and I can't feel it the same, you know. So, but these guys, they are such a family that um, they work very to, they work together and they treat it like a job, you know mm. what I mean. It's you know you show up at 11 o'clock. And you play till till seven o'clock, you know what I mean? And we're sitting there writing, we're jamming, you know, just being together and being in a room and being a band. So it's like they they welcomed me with open arms and they they made sure everything was all good, you know what I mean? Now for you coming from a different band, um, when writing music with them, you know, how are you able to balance or how are you able to write Suicide Silence instead of your previous work? Um, for me, it's not that big of a step away, you know, it's mm-hmm. it's it's still in the same realm of music, I mean, we, like we, I come from a very similar band, you know. As much as it, it isn't, uh, it, it isn't as, you know, breakdown heavy or anything. It's, it's still, deathcore, you know. It's still influenced by the same places that I come from. So, it's not, it, it's not too difficult because it's not a step away, you know. It's not, it's nothing new for me. Okay. And then, what can you tell us about this record that's coming out real soon? It's crushing, man. It's a heavy record. It's a. Uh, it's the next progression from the Black Crown, you know what I mean? It's We're working with the same producer. You know, the band was very fired up about the, the, the whole new beginning and just starting fresh and really giving it that energy that, that you know, you're hindered by in, in other situations. You know, everybody came in very naturally, very fluid, and just said, fuck it, we're going to do the best thing we can. And that's what we did, man. That's absolutely what we did. Now, how long did it take to actually sit down and, and start working on, on this album? Um, it took three months. Uh, to write and then a month and a half to record and we finished finished writing some of the songs in the studio so I'd say four and a half months altogether yeah and then coming into a festival like this one mayhem and you know like I said we have a couple weeks before the record drops 
you know, how do you guys, do you guys still have preparation to do while you're handling this beast that you're on right now, or everything's all set to go? Everything's all set to go, man. We actually, this is one of the re big reasons I'm excited to do this tour is because I don't have any pressure. I don't have to make any decisions. I don't have to do anything. I just get to go up on stage and play, and it's going to be a awesome summer because I'm with a bunch of friends, yeah. you know, the Darkest Hour boys. I got to give them a shout out. They got a record coming out too, and I'm really excited for that. And uh, yeah, man, it's, I'm just really excited about the whole thing. That's true. And, and also, any plans for a proper tour for this album? Um, yeah. We're gonna be we're gonna be hitting the road as much as we possibly can. Right now, nothing specific, but yeah. And then um, when uh, when I was looking at the labels and, and the releases from the previous work with the band, everything was with one label until now. It's a new label, Nuclear Blast. Yep. So how does this transition happen, and and why did you guys choose to change the label after having various records with the same one? Well, the contract, from what I understand, I'm, I wasn't around for any of the label decision stuff. Um, I was already on Nuclear Blast, so for me it's not a change at all. I'm okay. still working with the same people and I'm very happy about it. Um, but uh, from what I understand, it was they were just done with their contract with Century Media and they didn't go back. Um, Nuclear Blast offered them uh, you know, a spot and they, they chose to move forward with them. Okay. What are you guys excited to play most on this tour? Um, all, all the new stuff, honestly, yeah. man, yeah. How much new stuff can we expect on this tour? We're, uh, we're playing two songs. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell us about the songs? Uh, yeah, one we released a video for, uh, You Can't Stop Me, a couple of days ago. Um, today. It's like blowing up everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's doing great. It's a funny video. It's a really good video. The concept's awesome. And, uh, I mean, it, it was Mitch's last lyrics mm -hmm. and the title of the record. So it, it's all very heartfelt, you know. Um, but also, um, we released uh, a song. It's, well, the first release we did, uh, Cease to Exist, there's a lyric video out for that if you want to check it out on the YouTubes and such. Um, and yeah, that's those things are, those things are the song. Those are the songs that we're going to be playing. Well, now being uh, from you know Hispanic culture, uh, what does that mean to to be in such a big, uh, big band such as a metal band like Suicide Silence? Um, well, I mean, uh, half the band. Well, now the a majority of the ba band is uh, what we like to say we're we're brown. Yeah. So even though I'm I'm very white, but pale. I'm the palest brown dude I know, but. Um, but this is just the beginning of the tour. After oh, the tour, yeah. it'll be dark. Oh, dude, I, no, I, I, I burn. I, oh, I, have, like me. I, I have, I have really bad, <laughs> bad, bad sun skin. But um, yeah, man. Uh, the, you know, I, feeling. I, I don't feel any different, man. I, I'm a Latino. I've always been a Latino. I was raised Latino. I was born in Venezuela. So for me, it's like, I'm just here, dude. I'm, I'm here being a, a Venezuelan American and. I'm happy to represent Venezuela. There's a lot of love coming from those areas, and I just want to tour down there, man, for sure. That'll be sick. Yeah. That'll be sick. Now, what can we expect uh, for the remainder of the year with you guys? Um, touring. This record's about to come out and destroy your life, yeah. so that, that's really that. You, you're not going to need much else after <laughs> that, honestly.